Hey guys, welcome to today's video. On today's video, I want to talk about combination here loss. And in specific, in this specific case, I want to talk about adrogenic alopecia and telegem effluvium. And for you guys who are on the channel for the first time, my name is Alex, and I'm previously hair loss sufferer who was able to regrow back my own hair, and I'm also a certificated trichologist. So in today's video, I want to talk about uh, combination hair loss. And yesterday I got a question from one of the viewers about um, telegem effluvium and adrogenic alopecia that he was suffering from. And he basically was wondering how to go ahead to solve this problem. And the thing with combination hair loss is that it is more uh, challenging to solve it compared to if it's uh, caused just by a single factor such as uh, genetics or such as nutritional deficiencies because it complicates things, right? Because there are multiple elements that are affecting each other. And in case of, for example, uh, telegem effluvium and adrenogenic alopecia, the last thing you want to do is to stim stimulate hair regrow with a growth stimulant such as minoxidil. Because if the hair are still in, uh, let's say, in the shedding phase, if the telegem effluvium is still going on, it is not completely kind of addressed or managed, then what will happen is that the hair will start to shed even more, right? Because uh, minoxidil will have an effect on the hair cycle, and hair cycle is already weak, so it basically will lead to more shedding. And in the case uh, of combination hair loss that is involving, for example, telegem effluvium and adrenogenic alopecia, first step would be to basically address DHT angle of the hair loss, and the second step would be to address uh, on managing telegem effluvium itself. Right? Is it caused by stress? Then the stress has to be managed. If it's caused by, for example, uh, other factors such as illness or medication or uh, nutritional factors, then those things also have to be solved and addressed, right? But first step is to actually address adrenogenic alopecia, and second step is to actually address uh, the problem what is causing that one is having telegem effluvium. And when those things are under control, then later on one can add the growth stimulant such as minoxidil. But never do it before you have actually addressed and stabilized your hair loss. Because if you don't stabilize your hair loss, uh, minoxidil will have too much effect on the hair cycle and it will lead to shedding. So this is something I want to share in today's video with you guys. And for you guys who are looking for guidance, help regarding your situation, you can schedule a call below this video. There is a link for it. And basically see how you can address this problem and solve it once and for all and get your hair back again. Thanks for watching this video, guys. And see you next time. Cheers.